Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Joy is the latest from David O. Russell, the writer-director who has been on such a hot streak with The Fighter, Silver Linings Playbook, American Hustle, and there the streak unfortunately ends. It saddens me to report that this movie, based on a true story, turns out to be only sorta true and only sorta a story. A glossy, slickly produced, but ultimately confounding movie that never fully gets out of its own way. A great performance from Jennifer Lawrence can be found here, but a great performance from Jennifer Lawrence is sort of a given at this point. And a great performance does not a great movie make. There are so many bizarre narrative and tonal choices in this movie that I can't recommend Joy, which in turn makes me feel anger and sadness. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. The movie Joy is about real life person and inventor of the miracle mop, Joy Mangano. And while the story of the inventor of a mop doesn't sound at first like it's prime material for a biopic with a Christmas Day release date, let me remind you that we've already been given a biopic about the invention of the intermittent windshield wiper. So basically anything goes at this point. It's possible to make a great movie about anyone or anything, I guess. Especially if you take dramatic license into account to fix the holes in real life. But from the beginning, this film diverts its focus so often and so totally that it takes a while for you even to figure out what the movie's about. We see Joy's early life, her early failed romance, her divorce, her strange relationships with her divorced parents, and her various financial struggles, all of which forces us to spend some time with a bunch of characters who, and I'll be charitable here, are a little difficult to like or relate to. Being less charitable, they're a bunch of weirdos! And not in that charming, eccentric movie character kind of way. I mean, they're all at least a little bit repugnant, except for Diane Ladd, who plays Joy's grandmother, and the movie's narrator. But her character dies halfway through, keeps narrating the movie though. God, this movie is weird. Then Joy invents her mop. She invents it, goes about trying to make it, sell it, and manufacture it. If this journey is not exactly compelling, at least it focuses the story after such a stagnant beginning. Anyway, the best part of the movie comes when Neil Walker, played by Bradley Cooper, picks up her little mop to be sold on this newfangled upstart TV channel called QVC. Joy gambles everything on this venture and comes into her own as a businesswoman and salesperson, and this movie starts gaining steam. As this is unfolding, I'm sitting in my chair, you know, starting to look like this. Like, okay, now we got us a movie here. All right, now this is where this whole thing takes off until, mm, no. Complications ensue immediately, both for Joy and for the narrative. And again, we get bogged down in a lot of negativity and the movie wildly flails around as Joy's problems grow to a fever pitch. And then she just resolves them all in one quick scene of dialogue very late in the film and turns unexpectedly into Don Vito Corleone all of a sudden. Never speak. On my behalf. About my business. Again. And narration from Joy's dead grandma comes in to spill some, some more strange sort of wrap-up trivia. But that wrap-up from the dead grandma tosses some curveballs regarding things that happened after the events depicted that are pretty messy. They change entirely how you feel about certain characters on a dime. And they'll lead you to ask yourself, Wow, that sounds pretty major. Why didn't they put that into the movie instead of just telling us that at the end? I'm sorry, I, I love just about everyone involved in the making of Joy, the stars, the writer and director, but I just can't recommend this movie. It's just too much, too erratic, too unfocused, too damned precious. One great middle section where it all balances out and gets exciting means this film gets a small bag of popcorn. But for most of Joy, I was scratching my head thinking, just what the hell am I watching? Ultimately, for this movie about the inventor of a mop, Joy leaves behind quite a cluttered mess. That does it for Movies That Pop. Don't forget, you can follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. 
And if you liked what you saw, be sure to click the thumbs up icon and please, please do subscribe to this channel. Just click the icon right down there and subscribe. It helps us to bring you more great content and allows you to keep up with all of our reviews as they happen. So please subscribe so that you will never miss a review. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel and I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Yeah!